course to steer practice problem one let's get into it course to steer practice problem one we need to collect all of our information so problem one reads while on a course of 34 degrees true a light bears eight degrees on the port bow at a distance of 8.8 .8 miles good there's information in there our course says we are on course 34 degrees 34 degrees true then it says a light bears eight degrees on the port bow so it gives us a bearing our bearing is equal to eight degrees on the port side the port bow it says gives us a distance of 8.8 .8 miles so it gives us a distance to that bearing of 8.8 .8 nautical miles. All right, and it continues. What course should you steer to pass 2.5 miles of beam of the light leaving it to port? Excellent. It, it asks us a question, the main question we're looking for. What is the course to steer? What is that? And then it said to pass 2.5 miles of beam. It gave us a distance. It gave us a distance of beam of 2.5 nautical miles. And it says, leaving it to port. To port. To port and to port is, these are important. Cool. Did we get everything? Chris is story. Good, 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 good. Okay, we got everything. Now we're going to make a triangle so that we can get the, the last piece of information we need to solve this. So we're on course 34 and we see something eight degrees on port and it's 8.8 .8 miles away. What, where are we, right? This is zero. This is 90. This is 45. We're on 34. We're going to be something like this and we sight a light off in the distance 8.8 .8 miles okay so this is us and we sight the light now we want to leave that light we want to leave the light to port what does that mean where's our second line if we leave that to port we're over here 2.5 miles to port we have to be here because so it's on our port side there and if we're leaving it directly a beam to port, that means this is a right angle. So we're given two distances. We're given this distance of beam, 2.5. And then we're given this distance to the bearing, 8.8. 8.8. And now what we need, the last piece of information we need, is this angle here. We're going to call it theta. And we have a tool to find this angle. Don't worry about the naming of this being theta. I know it sounds weird, but it's fine. And then this, this um, formula we use is also your calculator does all the work for you. So all you need to do is find the buttons. We say theta equals sine negative 1 times the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So we need to find the, what is the opposite? It's all relative to this angle. The opposite here, side, is 2.5 equals the opposite. What about the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is going to be across from this 90 degrees. So 8.8 .8 equals the hypotenuse. Now we can plug in our numbers. We could say sine negative 1 equals the opposite, 2.5, divided by the hypotenuse, 8.8. .8, and that'll give us theta. So we could say theta equals, and our calculator is going to spit this out. On, clear. So we go this button, second, and then this sign, see the blue one? Sign negative one, good. And then we put in our just regular division problem, 2.5 divided by 8.8. .8. 2.5 divided by 8.8 .8 equals 
16.5. Anything, we need to round this to the nearest whole degree. So 0.5 or higher goes up. This rounds to 17 degrees. Theta is equal to 17 degrees. All right, here we are. This is 17 degrees. And now we can find our course to steer because we have this last piece of information. Course, 34 true. So we started on course 34 degrees true. And then it said there was a bearing 8 degrees on our port. We need to account for that. And this is where all the visualization comes in, right? We have 8 degrees, but do we add or subtract that 8 degrees? Well, if we're on 34 degrees and this thing is 8 degrees to port, we're on 34. If it's 8 degrees to port and we change our course to it, what are we doing? We're subtracting, right? We're heading back to the zero, kind of from 90 to zero to port. So we're going to subtract that. That's how we figure that out. 34 minus 8 is what? Let's put it in the calculator so we don't mess it up. Clear. 34 minus 8 equals 26. 26 degrees. Okay, so now we're on 26 and we've accounted for this bearing. Now we need to account for what we, uh, to leave that thing 2.5 miles to port. So now we're on 26, right? This line is represented here, 26. And we correct 17 degrees. Do we add or subtract that? We're going to add or subtract that 17. If we are on 26 and we leave this thing 2.5 nautical miles to port, that means we're going down here, right? We're correcting this way. So if we're here, we correct this way, we're going up. So we're going to add 6 and 7 is 13. Carry the 1, 2, 3, 4. 43 degrees should be our course to steer. Let's see if that is an answer. Ah, look. Problem 1. A, 43 degrees true. We can check it here under problem seven. One is A. That is the answer to course to steer practice problem one. And we'll keep going. There's four more that we'll solve, and then there's two to do on your own.